We've now moved beyond the basic controls, things that have text or basic buttons or uh, lists that you can select from. And we've gotten to some of the more interesting things that you can add into your GUI. And two of the kind of more interesting elements you can add are pickers, a date picker and a color picker. So we'll start with a little template here. I am going to import, I'm going to bring in the label because that will help us to see what dates are actually being selected. I'm going to pull in date picker and I'm going to call, pull in color picker. So we've imported those three things. We have our scene here. This can actually be a fairly small window. We'll put at the top a label. And this, this label will be used to show the date that we have once we select it. And then let's put the labels layout X at 20, layout Y at 20. Now I want to create a date picker. Val, I'll just call it date equals new date picker. And when we create one of these, we have to give it a date to use, like to start with. And so I want to give it the current date. And I can create one of those. I'm going to use in the Java libraries, there's a type called local date. And we'll call now on that. In order to be able to use this, we need to import it. It happens to be in java.time.local.date. And that initializes our date picker. Now we want to give it a location. So layout x will be 20. And layout y will be, let's drop it 30 pixels down from the previous one. Now let's pick a color picker call it color equals new of color picker. And in this case, we need to provide it with a default color to use. We'll start off with white as our default color. Here again is something that we probably need to import. So let's import ScalaFX dot scene dot paint dot color to give us that and set its position which will be another 30 pixels down perhaps we can see if that looks okay and then let's add these things into the content label date color and at this point we can run our ScalaFX command and see if this window pops up looking the way that we want it to. There we go. Okay, so we have a date picker and you can see what this looks like. If I click on it, it brings up a calendar. So this is a, a nice uh, kind of a fancy thing to put inside of your GUI. Also, we have a color picker, which will allow us to pick from a palette or we can click custom color and get a much more powerful uh, selector to work with. It also shows us the hex color code in case we wanted to use this in some other way. So now we've added these things into a GUI. We'll come back in the next video and actually make them interactive, make it so that they, the date picker shows up here and the color picker will actually make set the background color.